So we're gonna make sugar cookies, sometimes known as Christmas cookies, always known as sweet crackers. We're gonna take three cups of flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt, and sift that together with a fork until it's freshly fallen baking snow. If you encounter any objects that don't look like flour, just set those aside. Then we're gonna take a half pound of softened butter, so if it's coming out of the fridge, you can slice it into bite-sized butter nuggets. Then wash the baby cow food grease off your hands and put them in the laser beam box for a minute or two on power level two. Then we'll put that butter in a bigger mixing bowl, then make it rain a cup of sugar. Now we'll use the Wang Heli Jangle Copter to cream this until it's soft and fluffy. It's okay to despatulize it if it gets too high up on the bowl for your comfort, but use a big enough bowl so you don't have to worry about this stuff flying all over the place like a grease typhoon. Now we'll add in a pre-jangled egg, three tablespoons of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, the ketchup of baking, and we'll just jangle chopper that until combined. Now we'll take our baking snow and pour that on our butter cloud and I'm gonna fold that together so I don't create a wheat dust storm when I chopperize it again. Now we'll pull out the dough cyclone and get that combined. If it's dry and clumpy just add in another tablespoon or two of milk until you get dough like this, also known as baking cement. Now we'll lay our dough to sleep on plastic wrap one folded sheet and you can flatten it out so you don't have to roll as much later. Then throw it around like you own a pizzeria. Then throw it in the molecule slower downer for around an hour. I've got some flour and icing sugar sugar on the cutting board here, also known as flicing sugar. You can start the rolling process just by pressing the dough at first. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a glass or metal bottle or the power of your mind. Just roll that out until it's around the thickness of a cookie, which is a quarter inch thick. Any other thickness and it's no longer a cookie. We'll take our Santa cookie cutter and dip it in the flicing powder. Then if it sticks like this, consider yourself lucky because you can just pop it off into your pan. Wow, things are totally popping off in here. Then take your slightly bigger Santa cookie cutter and do it again. Then take your even bigger Santa cookie cutter and grab some pliers because why do I have three of these? Okay, so we somehow ended up with a pile of presents on top of a sleigh. Cool. Okay, now we have some sort of cloud. Terrific. You can also use a knife and just cut whatever shape you want, like this perfect Christmas arrow, or some kind of guy, or a Christmas dog. Undos on three fundo, and we'll bake those for around 12 minutes more or less, depending on whether or not you like them soft or crunchy. You decide. Cookies are looking done. If you like them soft, get them out when they just start browning around the edges, and we'll let them cool before we get into the icing, but keep in mind you aren't restricted to just these perfect Christmas cookies. You can make a guy with a really long arm, festive Christmas tree, a festive lamp, festive Christmas camel with a swollen hind leg, aerial view of the coastline, buffalo, a piece of abstract art, a wheelbarrow, a blow dryer, or a dog with a thin neck, an aerodynamic pig, a pineapple wrench, some kind of boat or jet ski, a portrait of someone you're trying to impress by making a portrait of them as a cookie, a car with a bloated engine, an evil reindeer with an extra long leg, Neptune, a carefree guy running, the octopus from My Octopus Teacher, Saturn, the letter L, a wang jangler, a stick, a bagel hoop, a monolith, the Illuminati, a human ear, a turtle head, actually it's a fish that's all head with one big fin, a regular wrench, an ankle stocking, a rhombus, a Penrose triangle, an MC painting, a trapezoid, a Microsoft Zune, a harmonica, a sick metal guitar, a sad festive unicorn, an experimental spacecraft from Area 51, rhinoceros with a smokestack coming out of its head, some kind of prehistoric bird, a modern festive chicken, a charging donkey, polar bear wearing a party hat, or is it a majestic seahorse having a peaceful nap, something from the bottom of the ocean or space, a cyber truck, a beautiful potted plant, or a lucky festive Christmas horseshoe. Bacon and eggs, a toothbrush, flying spaghetti monster, some cereal, a beautiful rainbow, or you can make some 3D cookies like this beer cozy and mug. Okay, so maybe those didn't turn out quite as expected, but I'm still gonna have a coffee in this mug. This coffee is delicious and this mug is perfect. A lot of people like making royal icing. I'm gonna make peasant icing. Take one cup of powdered sugar, add in a couple teaspoons of corn syrup, then a couple teaspoons of water. Wang jangle that until a gooey clump emerges from the wintry mist. Then add another teaspoon of water if necessary until it becomes the thickness you like in an icing. Then go ahead and add whatever colors you want. I put the red icing into this red bowl so I know what color it is, and this green icing in this blue bowl so I know it's not the red icing. We'll just use a knife and put on a moisturizing foundation layer 
earlier and a nice red hat and the traditional green eyes and smile to make a perfect Santa Claus. If you don't have a decorating bag, you can use a plastic bag with a corner cut off and, oh, that's a bit thin. That's okay. That's a perfect swirly thing. You can also use a soap dispenser to apply the icing for maximum icing cleanliness. And of course, a festive Christmas water gun does a great job getting that icing all over that cookie. And I think it's time to call it a day. Well, we all wish we could be a peaceful seahorse this year. Kick back, take a nap, and just disappear. Well, we all wish we could be a peaceful seahorse this year. Kick back, take a nap, and just disappear.